We physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this photograph. This photograph is the smoking gun. Black holes have been a mystery for people for some time now, and scientists have been fascinated by these spiral objects for decades. What's baffling is their ability to swallow a whole object, but recently scientists have made a shocking discovery about black holes that is terrifying. A black hole is a mysterious cosmic phenomenon created through a remarkable process. A black hole is made after the life cycle of a star is completed. This life cycle is completed when a star, larger than our sun, reaches the end of its life and goes through a cataclysmic event. At this stage, the core of the star starts to collapse under huge pressure because it simply can't sustain itself through fission like it did before. When this core starts to collapse, gravity starts getting heavier and heavier on it until it becomes the only dominant force there is. And this is the point where the gravity goes through its immense pressure and a black hole is made. Black holes usually tend to vary in size. These aren't as we thought would be the same size every single time and the thing that sets them apart is their mass. A stellar black hole is the smallest of all and usually ranges from 1 to 100 times the mass of our sun. The intermediate black holes are mid-sized black holes with masses usually being within the range of 100 to 100,000 times that of our sun. These are a mystery as of now, and scientists are working hard to understand how they are made. Right now, the only thing we know is that these black holes are the building blocks to make supermassive black holes. A supermassive black hole, just like its name, is the largest one known with masses that can go from millions to billions of times that of our sun, and this kind of black hole is usually at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. What makes the black hole so unique? Black holes are the most challenging and mysterious part of our galaxy, because they defy all laws related to how we currently understand the fundamentals of physics. Einstein has a theory of relativity, which talks about how gravity works in the universe. According to Einstein, matter warps the fabric of space-time, creating what we see as a gravitational pull. When we talk about black holes, the huge mass of these objects leads to an incredibly strong gravitational pull this pull is so strong that not even light can escape it. Quantum mechanics is the branch of physics that deals with how matter and energy work at the subatomic level. One of the basic principles of quantum mechanics is that energy cannot be made nor be destroyed, but when it comes to black holes, things are a little different. Scientists didn't really know what would happen when something falls into a black hole, and the fact that when matter is exposed to a black hole, Scientists see it simply getting destroyed. This concept is known as the information paradox. However, this contradicts what quantum mechanics has to say. Black holes are not exactly described as holes in space. Rather, black holes have their own special properties. At the very center of a black hole, there is a point called the singularity. The singularity is said to have infinite density and zero volume. As stated before, this point is where all the gravitational pull is, and the point where the whole mass of the previously collapsed star is concentrated, hence the powerful gravitational pull. Then, there's the event horizon. This is what you see as the boundary around the black hole that some people call the edge. This is the perimeter around the singularity and marks the point of no return. What we mean is this is the point where anything that crosses it is gone forever, including light, which is why the black hole is so dark. Let's say you're floating in outer space and you come near a black hole. By the time you get to the edge, 
something really weird happens. The black hole is kind of like a huge vacuum cleaner. When you're far away, its gravitational pull is the same as what you'd feel on Earth. But as you get closer, this pull becomes incredibly intense. This is where spaghettification happens. The black hole's gravity isn't the same everywhere around you. The side of your body closer to the black hole feels a much stronger pull than the side that's farther away. Because of this uneven pulling from the black hole, your body starts changing its shape with the head and the legs getting stretched in opposite directions. This process is called spaghettification because you go from being a human into a long and thin noodle-shaped object. Recent research led by Enrico Rinaldi shows that black holes might actually have holographic properties. There's this holographic duality concept floating around. This is a theoretical concept that says that two different ideas in physics, the theory of gravity and the theory of particles, might actually be connected to one another in the mathematical sense. The idea here is that what occurs mathematically within the framework of the theory of gravity has a direct mathematical representation in the theory of particles, and vice versa. This theory says that there might be an underlying unity or connection between these theories that has not been fully discovered yet. This concept has been researched thoroughly and investigated in the field of theoretical physics. To dig deeper into the field of theoretical physics and find out the true nature of space, time, and the fundamental building blocks of the universe. Researchers are particularly interested in better understand what actually goes on inside a black hole. Scientists are currently working on closing the gap between Einstein's theory of relativity and the standard model of particle physics, which deals with particles, but does not include gravity. To figure this out, Enrico Rinaldi, a research scientist at the University of Michigan, and his team started working on quantum matrix models. These models are made up of blocks of numbers and are usually used to be computed by quantum computers. In this framework, particle theory is represented using one-dimensional strings. These scientists use these matrix models as a tool to merge the principles of particle theory and the theory of gravity. By doing so, they hope they might tap into the concept of holographic duality, which shows what happens in the theory of gravity on the mathematical level. Scientists used a matrix model in a quantum computer to come up with several discoveries. On the surface, gravity is seen as a two-dimensional space, but in reality, this is a three-dimensional space. This two-dimensional appearance of the black hole gives it kind of a holographic appearance. When scientists dived deeper into the inner workings of a black hole, they saw a whole new realm of laws that were covered by the principles of Einstein's general theory of relativity, which deals with the nature of space-time. In this gravitational domain, everything seems to operate in three different dimensions, a lot like our everyday physical experiences. What makes the black hole so special is how it looks when seen from the outside boundary called the horizon. At this boundary, something strange happens. The difference in dimensions both inside the black hole and the outside changes our old understanding of the physical universe and says that somehow the information about the 3D interior of the black hole becomes projected as 2D on the surface. This leads to scientists coming up with another theory that the entire universe could be a simple hologram. Scientists think that the way we see the universe from the outside might contain all the important information about what's going on inside, but this idea is yet to be proven through more research. What do you think about what's inside a black hole? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be always updated with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.